What is going on, everyone? How about we talk about New Jersey? You know, New York's illegitimate sister state? Most people not from New York, Pennsylvania, or Delaware only know New Jersey as the home of the Sopranos, Snooki, and overly spray tan dudes that use way too many hair products. I'll just leave these pictures here for a second. Now, there's not too many states that have as many negative aspects as New Jersey, yet the people from New Jersey, for some strange reason, think it's the greatest state in the Union. If you look at some of their cities, you'll think New Jersey pride is a little insane as well. So let's do that. Let's check out the worst places to live in the Garden State. So here's my top 10 worst places to live in New Jersey. Number 10. New Brunswick. Coming in at number 10 is New Brunswick, New Jersey. The area around present-day New Brunswick was first inhabited by the Lenape Native Americans. The first European settlement at the site was made in 1681, and by all accounts, those were the glory days. These days, New Brunswick boasts an F grade in crime, cost of living, and education. And recently, a rabbi was arrested in New Brunswick for sex trafficking. Wow. The average school test score in New Brunswick is 59% lower than the national average. Good times in New Brunswick. Number 9. Millville. The city of Millville, New Jersey was started at what is now Union Lake. Joseph Smith and others formed the Union Estates Company in 1776, purchasing 2,400 acres of land and establishing a mill at the head of the Maurice River. These days, the mill is closed and the criminals have opened for business. Millville's crime rate is 248% higher than the rest of New Jersey. Housing, schools, and cost of living blow as well. On a good note, they have a former Miss New Jersey as a member of the Board of Commissioners. I wonder if attendance at their meetings increased after she was elected. Number 8. Lindenwald. The borough of Lindenwald was created on April 23, 1929. Lindenwald is German for Linden Woods. There's still a bunch of trees here and a bunch of crime on a daily basis. The overall crime rate in Lindenwald is 22% higher than the national average. The schools are in bad shape too. The average school test score in Lindenwald is 63% lower than the national average. That and the proximity to probably the worst town in the United States puts it on the list. Number 7. Patterson. The area of Patterson, New Jersey was inhabited by an Algonquin-speaking Native American tribe of the Lenape. They're often referred to as the Delaware Indians. The city has since evolved, as you can imagine over the last couple hundred years, but it's a major destination for immigrants from around the globe. It has become very diverse. Now the downside, it has horrible education grades, with only 68% of the people in Patterson having completed high school. The average school test score in Patterson is 60% lower than the national average. And, you know, the crime isn't terrible, well, unless you factor in how the FBI just arrested two Patterson police officers for stealing from people they pulled over. But, you know, innocent till proven guilty, it, it just doesn't look good. Number 6. Bridgeton. Bridgeton, New Jersey is similar to other areas near rivers and lakes. This area was inhabited for thousands of years by indigenous people. Then the Europeans showed up and the neighborhood went to crap. And it's still going to crap to this day. Before I get into the stats, while I was researching this, I YouTube searched Bridgeton. And most every single thing that popped up was things titled like hood fights, fighting in the projects, things like that. Take a look. I'm not joking. In Bridgeton, the overall crime rate is 66% higher than the national average, and the poverty level in Bridgeton is 101% higher than the national average. Not good news. Number 5. Newark. Newark, New Jersey was settled in 1666 by the Puritans. Puritans are often confused with the Quakers. You know those guys that make the oatmeal? Yeah. Newark is one of those places that it's nice to be from. As in, you're glad you got out. One of the best things to see in New Jersey is Newark in your rearview mirror, as the old joke goes. The unemployment rate in Newark is 130% higher than the national average. Newark is only safer than 6% of the cities in the United States. In other words, 94% of the country is safer than Newark. Number 4. The City of Orange. 
The city of Orange, New Jersey was initially part of the city of Newark, and originally known as Newark Mountains. On June 7, 1780, the townspeople of Newark Mountains officially voted to adopt the name Orange. Apparently, those people got separation in their blood and they couldn't stop. They kept splitting like amoebas, and now they have East Orange, West Orange, and South Orange. And these people really didn't accomplish much. The area is still in bad shape. The unemployment rate in Orange is 143% higher than the national average. And the average school test score in Orange is about 50% lower than the national average. Number 3. Trenton Trenton is the capital of New Jersey and for a very brief time was the capital of the United States. I imagine our forefathers got a taste of that New Jersey demeanor and decided it wasn't the best first impression to give the rest of the world. The overall crime rate in Trenton is 40% higher than the national average. The unemployment rate is 109% higher than the national average. Side note, those are 2016 stats for New Jersey. They're a little slow about giving updates. Now, I heard it got better in 2017, but we probably won't know that till 2019 or 20. Number 2. Ashbury Park The seaside community of Ashbury Park is located in New Jersey's central coast. It was developed in 1871 as a residential resort for wealthy New York brush manufacturer James A. Bradley. In case you're sitting there going, brush manufacturer? Wealthy? Brushes used to be handmade and were very expensive. Anyway, the city was named for Francis Ashbury, the first American bishop of the, Mes of the Methodist Episcopal Church in the United States. That's a mouthful. Since then, the city's done a complete 180 from its resort days. Every beach city in the U.S. has a style, like Miami and their Art Deco scene. Ashbury Park, it's got its own style. It's called Debris by the Sea. This place gets four Fs. Crime, cost of living, education, and unemployment. The poverty level in Ashbury Park is 102% higher than the national average. The cost of living in Ashbury Park is 43% higher than the national average. This place isn't good. Now, on a positive note about them, they are doing a major redevelopment thing and they're trying to clean the place up. This one might not be relevant four or five years down the line, but right now it is. And number one, Camden. What can you say about a place most people consider the worst city in the United States? Camden, New Jersey has been considered the most dangerous city in the United States for years. To be fair, they have seen a drop in murders and in crime in general over the past two years or so, but it's still really bad in most other categories. This place was so bad over the last 30 years, the idea of closing the bridges to Philadelphia has been floated more than a few times. You have to give the police their credit for turning the crime around. Now if the schools and unemployment could get a turnaround too, it might be considered livable someday. Camden is the most brought up city in my comment section whenever I do a worst of list. And it's and what's really weird about this, New Jersey people, they bring it up as like a source of pride. You know, you talk about a bad town or something like that. They're like, oh, yeah, well, that's not a big deal. We got Camden, New Jersey. It's the worst city in the country. Way worse than Chicago or Detroit. Way worse. And they say it like they're boasting about that. I get confused every time I read some garbage like that. The poverty level in Camden is 154% higher than the national average. The average school test score is 74% lower than the national average. That's just skimming the surface on bad stats about this place. All right, so that's my list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That is the top 10 worst places to live in New Jersey. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up. Share this on your social media. Thanks for watching my videos. Be nice to each other.